Hey, what's up, Kim Peeps? It is Mr. Boylan. What in the heck are we gonna do in this video? We're gonna use thermochemical equations to calculate energy changes that occur in chemical reactions and classify reactions as exothermic or endothermic thermochemistry. As always, breaking it down. In this video, specifically, we're gonna look at calculating the enthalpy change of a reaction from what's called the enthalpies of formation. All right, so first things first, what the heck is an enthalpy of formation? It is simply defined as the change in enthalpy that accompanies the formation of one mole, one, who no, eins, of the compound in its standard state from its elements in their standard states. So take a look at a couple of heat of formation equations. Notice that in each of these equations, you are forming one mole, one, who no, eins, one mole of compound, and it's forming from its elements in their standard states. In other words, at standard temperature and pressure, carbon is a solid, hydrogen's a gas. And notice the enthalpies for these reactions are delta H sub F, indicating heats or enthalpies of formation. Now, some important things to recognize, you're gonna to start to see fractional coefficients. Don't freak out. That's simply to ensure that only one mole of compound is formed. And we do that so that we can easily compare the amount of heat that is absorbed or released upon the formation of one mole of any compound. Totally unfair if we were comparing amount of heat absorbed or released for one mole of one compound and two moles of another. Also important to recognize that the heat of formation for elements in their standard states is always zero. Think of our elements as our starting blocks. Imagine that all of the elements have already been created in the universe. So there are zero starting point. And then when we take those elements and slam them together and form compounds, the amount of heat that is absorbed or released in that process is known as the heat of formation. All right, take a look at your screen. There's a list of some standard enthalpies of formation for several very common compounds and elements. And in most cases, you'll either reference your own list of heats of formation or be provided them in the problem. Make special note that those elements in their standard states all have a heat of formation of zero. But you can assume that if you're not provided with the enthalpy of formation for an element in its standard state, that it's zero. In fact, this is a common trick on the exam. All right, to determine the enthalpy change of a reaction from the heats of formation then, all you have to do is sum together all the heats of formation of the products and subtract the sum of all the heats of formation of the reactants. Take a moment to examine this formula. You've got it not only in your notes, but also on your formula chart. Let's take a quick look at an example of how we use the heats of formation to determine the overall enthalpy change for a reaction. As you take a look at the example in your notes, we're asked to determine the enthalpy change for the combustion of methane from the heats of formation data provided in the table. First thing I'm gonna do is use my enthalpy change equation from heats of formation. Boom. Enthalpies of formation of products minus enthalpies of formation of reactants. So I take a look at my equation, I've got one mole of CO2 and its enthalpy of formation is negative 393.5 kilojoules per mole. Boom. We're gonna add to that the heat of formation for two moles of water. Boom. I've summed together the heats of formation of my products. We're then gonna subtract the sum of the heats of formation of the reactants. Got one mole of my methane. I'm gonna add to that two moles. Oh man, what the heck is this, an incomplete list? There is no heat of formation of oxygen gas provided. But then I remember, oxygen gas is an element in its standard state, so its heat of formation, zero kilojoules per mole. Good idea to include that in your work to make sure your grader knows that you know that as well. Then it's just a quick jump to your calculator. One times negative three, nine, three point five, answer. Plus parentheses two times negative two point one point eight. Close parentheses answer. Negative eight seventy seven point one kilojoules. Sum of the enthalpy formation of my products. One times negative seventy four point six. Answer. Plus parentheses two times zero times zero. Close parentheses answer. Minus negative seventy four point six. Back to my calculator. Negative 877.1 minus second answer, answer. Delta H of reaction calculated from the heats of formation, negative 802.5 kilojoules per mole of reaction. Boom. That does it for this vid. Have a fantastic day.